All right, my name is Chris Bear. I guess that's not really important. Um, what I'm doing is I'm making a series of videos on how to use the Chinese um, abacus. In case you're wondering what that noise is, I'm a dad, got lots of kids, and I'm bouncing my baby right now in a um, swing. So I don't have a lot of spare time to do these videos, so if people complain about the quality, that's fine, I don't care. Bottom line is, is I thought it would be useful to explain how to do an abacus for anyone out there that wants to do one. Um, I'll have a link at the end, bottom of the page. It will take you to Amazon directly so you can buy a Chinese abacus. First off, a little bit of history on an abacus so that you know what it is in case you haven't really found out. Um, an abacus is a counting device or an add addition, subtraction device, or a multiplication division device if you do it right. Um, it was invented by the Romans. A lot of people think it was invented by the Chinese. That's not really true, although the Chinese perfected it. Um, Japanese um, also have a version. The Chinese version is called a Sorbon. The, I'm sorry, the Japanese version is Sorbon. The uh, Chinese version is Swanpon. Um, now, a little bit of anatomy of an abacus. At the top, you see beads. Um, this is the uh, cleared position. Uh, a cleared position means that there's absolutely no uh, no value on the on the abacus. It works very simply. The far right is are ones. Then you've got tens. Here, I'll point to them. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, one million, and on. So this particular abacus can go up to about one trillion, I think, if you count them all up. So. Um, the first thing that I need to teach on this is exactly what the tops and bottoms mean, since that's the ones and whatnot. The top beads are five of whatever unit you're on. For example, that's five, 50, 500. The advantage to that is whenever you load a number, it's easier to read. Now, um, the Chinese abacus has, as you can see, you have two beads on top, five beads on the bottom. The two beads on top both equal five. Um, interesting side note, the Chinese abacus is cake of doing hexadecimal, binary, decimal. It's really not hard to do any of them. We'll focus on decimal since most people could care less to do hexadecimal on, a, on an abacus. Um, the Japanese version only has one beat on top and four on the bottom. And as you'll see from the method that I'm using, I'm using the Japanese method for, for um, addition. Uh, you wouldn't ever need um, any other beads except for the, the one beat on top and four at the bottom, which is actually the original design of the Roman abacus. All right, so enough of that. So fives and ones. The very first lesson of the day, of course, pass the introduction, introduction material just so you have a good idea what it is, is uh, to simply be able to see the numbers on the abacus. This is one, two, three, four. Once we go to four, then we move to five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then of course you do this to carry 10. So the very first lesson does two things. One, it shows you what all the values are. Um, it shows you 1 through 10. And the other is, it actually tells you to, shows you how to count from 1 to 10. That's it for this video. Thank you.